Hey everyone, Char the Tech Guy here. So I finally got all the parts in to build my new project codename Double. The CPU was the last thing I was waiting on, so I finally got that in two days ago, and now it's time to put this whole thing together. But before I do, I'm just gonna cover these last few parts in this video before I move on to the project itself. Okay, so in the last video, I introduced the case and the power supply. Now, I'm going to talk about the internal parts that goes into the system to make it all work. First off, let's start off with the main system board or motherboard like some people call it. This is where everything is going to attach to. We're talking about the memory, the CPU, the video card and every other thing that plugs into the system. So my motherboard of choice is always Gigabyte. I don't know, I love this brand. I've been using this brand for years. I've fiddled around with other brands, but I always come back to the Gigabyte. And luckily this Hackintosh uses the Gigabyte motherboard. This is one of the preferred boards to use for Hackintosh. So this is the Design and Air, and it's the Z390. It support the i9 CPU from Intel that I'm about to put on this board. So this is the motherboard, and this is where all the components is gonna to attach to. Like I said, the CPU, the memory, the SSD card, the video card. It has wireless, because those are those two gold connectors that you see right there. It's got digital display port, it's got a HDMI port, two Thunderbolt port, bunch of uh, USB port including 3.0, audio port, ethernet port, it's got everything that I need to make this system work. So that's the motherboard. Let me put that back here. And you don't want to handle these things with the touch and the connectors because with all static electricity you can zap these board if you really wanted to. So that's the motherboard. Now let's move on to the SSD. So the SSD of choice that I decided to go with is made by Samsung. This is the V9 SSD 970 Pro and it has one terabyte of storage. So this is gonna connect directly onto the motherboard and I'll show you that when I started assembling this system. The next item on the list is the actual RAM chips. Now this is 64 gigabytes worth of memory and it's DDR4. The memory speed is 3600 megahertz and it's four 16 gigabyte chips. So I got four of these in this package right here, goes onto the motherboard, and this is supposed to be high performance memory, so we'll see. Now this big box over here that's been sitting on the side, this is the actual coolant for the CPU. So this little part right here that you see right here is gonna attach. This part will be mounted inside the case, and that's gonna give the CPU its cool down effect so it won't burn itself out. Now in the previous video, I told you that I have to move those front fan from the case to put this in, but that's not what's going on here. What I have to do is put this into the slot that it's designed for. So I don't have to actually move those fans, they'll stay in place, and this is gonna actually go in front of those fans, or behind it, depending on which way you look at it. But no disassembly of the case fan will be needed. There's a designated spot for these fans. Now as far as I know, that's how it should go into the case. So I shouldn't have to remove anything. But we'll see when we start putting this whole thing together if that's really true or not. Now let's move this out of the way and go to the video card. Now this video card supports up to four monitors. Right now I am driving three monitors. But I might add a fourth one to my setup because I'm thinking about doing something to make it a little bit more productive. But we'll see how that works. I have the arm to hook it up to my desk right now but I haven't actually connected the monitor yet. So I'm gonna see how it work out before I go there, but at least I know I can drive at least four monitors with this. So there it is. This is the size of the video card that I plan to put in the system. It has two fans. Okay, so I did say this video card support four monitors, but it actually support five. But I plan and hook up no more than four to it. That's what I meant to say. It has two display port and it has two HDMI port. So the last thing on this list of items that I have to get the system up and running is the actual CPU. And what I got is the i9, and this is the 9900K, which has eight core processor, it has 16 megabytes worth of cache. So it's got 
plenty of power to get this thing going. So in upcoming videos, I'll be going to putting this whole thing together and showing you step by steps of me assembling the system, installing the software, get it up and running, and then I'm going to take my old system and turn that into a Windows machine because I have a different purpose for it. So it will be turned into a Windows 10 machine for some window related work stuff that I need to do in the future. Because my system is doing like double duty right now and I'm going to split those tasks off and I'll explain what those tasks are in a later video. All right. Okay. So that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to check out that community section of my YouTube channel for upcoming videos and you can see the release date and which video is coming out next. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you can get that notification when a video get released. If you already subscribed to the channel and you're not getting those notifications, go back to my channel, hit that bell icon so you can start getting the notification. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.